Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the many incredible and confident ways Jesus carries himself, one exemplary depiction we come across today is his transparency and straightforwardness when he responds to judgment and criticism, even at sword's point. If I do not perform my Father's work, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. There is no defensiveness and ego involved, rather a genuine concern and focus on his mission from the Father. This is truly inspiring and an example for us to not make ad hominem attacks and stick to the facts whenever in disagreement especially as the stresses and frustrations are reaching the boiling point across the globe. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.